Kickoff returns for a touchdown in a career. We're underway from Arrowhead. Cribs from the seven. Slowed down as he crossed the 20 and brought down as he hit the 25-yard line. Chiefs get down the field in a hurry with Justin Rogers limit Cribs to a 20-yard return on special teams. Open up with a double tight end set. Royal and Gaines, Harrison and Vickers are in the backfield for Cleveland. On a first and 10 from the 25. Hand off to Harrison. He's got a running lane. And Harrison shoots through the hole. Good block from Vickers. Harrison with a strong run on first down. The city territory, two tight ends in this formation. Quinn will hand it off. Strong run out across the 45-yard line for Jerome Harrison. Good block by Floyd Womack. If possible, I think that's a sign of growth for Brady Quinn and the Browns. Good opening drive. Play fake. Quinn out of the pocket. Little shovel ahead. He's got Harrison who turns it upfield and then scoots out of bounds as he crossed the 35-yard line. Tamba Hali had a chance to bring down Quinn. Good awareness by Brady Quinn in the pocket. And this is good to see. This is where some of his athleticism shows up. We know what kind of athlete he is, but sometimes when you watch the film, you don't see it. And I think that's what you need to see more of from him. That and the accuracy. He has to improve his accuracy. He's completing just 52% of his throws right now. That's not good enough. I with Royal in motion. Handoff, Harrison. Good cut by Harrison, and Harrison kept the legs churning as he was able to hit the 35-yard line. Vickers and Royal with nice blocks up front to create some space. A seven-yard gain. And a chance to add to it. First play of the second quarter on a second and three. Harrison breaking through. Harrison out on the perimeter and forced out of bounds. He's got another first down for Cleveland. Missed tackles by Corey Mays. Demario Williams, 14-yard rip. Yeah, nothing special here. Just not making tackles. Look, in position, you, you got to find a way to bring these backs down. And they, they do a good job kicking through arm tackles. We've seen a bunch of that here today. First and 10 now at the 21-yard line. 61 rushing yards for Cleveland. Kansas City has been limited. Line of scrimmage, double tight end set. Into a running play. And Harrison straight up the gut. First time they haven't been sold out since 1990. The crowd that is here has been energetic, though, trying to cheer on this defense. First down for Cleveland. Big hole, Jerome Harrison. He's back. 62 yards rushing for Harrison. He can add to it here. Harrison through the middle, tripped up. Or he would have turned that one into a 15-20 yard gain. Instead, it's limited to a 7 yard gain for Harrison. 24 to 20, first possession of the second half for Cleveland. On a handoff for Harrison, who turns it upfield. And Harrison is thrown down after a first down run out near the 30 yard line, 11 yard gain. How does, how does that affect Matt? I mean, he goes from a 54% passer up to a 64% passer if they make those catches. Give is to Harrison again. And Harrison emerging through the hole. Jerome Harrison, goodbye. Harrison takes it the distance. Touchdown, Browns. 71 yard rip. Well, I'll tell you what, he had 73 in the first half. He's not big, but he's tough and he's decisive. And when you commit this many people up around the line of scrimmage in your Kansas City and you make one guy, look at that, nine people, nine defenders up at the line of scrimmage. Boy, just a number of missed tackles that are not good on the run fits. And you let a guy like Jerome Harrison jump over a pile and go the distance. 155 yards rushing for Harrison today. Third and one for the Browns. Harrison, first down. And more. Well, I've really been impressed today with Jerome Harris and his opportunity. First catch of the day, and it's a first down. Give is to Harrison, and Jerome Harrison busting out to the second level. He comes up short of the 45. Hank Fraley, the veteran with a key block, who's had a huge influence on Alex Mack. Fraley was formerly the center. Right now, he's playing at right guard. You know, Harrison's only five foot nine. I think what happens is you lose him behind that big offensive line and that zone run scheme, and before you know it, he finds a hole and pops right out. And before you know it, he's going to be at 200 yards rushing. On a second and one now for the Browns. Harrison again. And falling forward for a first down. He hurt defenses with his legs. First and goal from the gate. Give is to Harrison with a head of steam. Harrison is in. 
Touchdown, Browns. What a day Jerome Harrison is having. This is embarrassing if you're the Chiefs defense. I mean, you're allowing a team to come in here with, with two wins and just run the ball right down the middle of your defense. I mean, just look at this. Look at the move. Look at Joe Thomas up there. He blocks two guys. Of course, Lawrence Vickers, the lead back. He's done a wonderful job today. You don't rush for 200 yards without a good fullback, and clearly Jerome Harrison has one in Lawrence Vickers. Jerome Harrison, 213 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Take over after the penalty on Studebaker. Hand off to Jerome Harrison. And Harrison coming to the perimeter and into Kansas City territory. Jerome Harrison is now inching closer and closer to a Browns all-time record for rushing yards in a game. He's got 228. Yeah, they always talk about setting the edge on a defense. They don't do it here. You just watch the edge of the defense. Look at this. They allow him to get back outside. Not a good job by Corey Mays there. You got to force that run back up inside. You got to play with your inside shoulder. All time record in Brown's history is Jim Brown. 237 rushing yards set back in 1961. Harrison now has 227 yards on the ground. Up the middle. And Harrison bottled up just short of the 40 yard line at the 41. Sees up front and make sure they get him in the right run. Handoff. Harrison stutter step. Harrison fighting for extra yardage. And Jerome Harrison picks up five yards. It's a new Cleveland Browns record. Most rushing yards in a game ever. Let me guess who that might be, huh? Jim Brown's previous mark of 237. Well, Harrison has just hit 238. What a day. Well, that stood for a long time. Look at that. Jim Brown, 1961. Well, what an accomplishment by Jerome Harrison, this offensive line. The tight ends, Robert Royal, Michael Gaines. Boy, they've really done a nice job. 48-year-old record goes down today in Kansas City. Stutter step by Harrison from Dawson. Chiefs score a touchdown on their next possession, and here we are, tied at 34. Handoff to Jerome Harrison. I think at this point they have to find some plays through the air. Give this to Harrison. He's got a blocker, and he's thrown down short of the first down by a yard. Four-yard pickup. Wallace Gilberry making the stop. Harrison, 249 yards on the ground for Cleveland. Too much time. Third and one for the Browns. Down to a minute 20 to go. Fake the handoff. Quinn's going to do it himself. And he's got plenty of running room. Brady Quinn taking it to the perimeter. And out of bounds. Right. Me today with the 252 yards rushing, they did it without throwing the ball hardly. And I think that's the most impressive thing when you look at the way they've done it. On a second and seven, it's Harrison again. Harrison taking it to the outside, makes a cut. And Harrison brings it near the 25 yard line. He has been all world today. Jerome Harrison with a seven yard pickup. Off the timeout, Royal goes in motion. Handoff, Harrison, first down and more. Jerome Harrison walking the tightrope and will take it in for the touchdown. 44 seconds left. Harrison with his third touchdown of the day. And Jerome Harrison has 286 yards rushing. Yeah, you think about this. Now, right at the end of the run, he's trying to take as much time off that clock. Well, it, it brings into question whether or not, if you're Kansas City, are you letting him score the right. touchdown with the idea that you get the football back? Dawson adds the extra point, as opposed to letting him get the first down. The Browns use clock and then kick a field goal. Easily five seconds came off the clock there. When they got it with 14 seconds, they spiked it with 11 seconds. And now Kansas City running out of time. You got two options here. You can try and get a ball maybe 12, 15 yards down the field, but they're not going to let you throw it from the outside lanes. There, there it is. Now take a shot. There you go. They get it to Dwayne Bowe. Seven seconds remain. The ball spotted just short of the 25 yard line. That's a 15 yard hookup. One play left, seven seconds. 
He's got to try and find a way. Keep an eye on Cotto. He's six foot seven. Send the big tight end down the middle of the field and see if he can't go up and get one. Seven seconds left to play. Kansas City trailing 41 to 34 to Cleveland. Castle steps. Castle looking for the tie. Throws it up for grabs and back of the end zone. It actually hit the crossbar.